My name is Neil Miller, but my role in the school is I'm the Director of Learning Photography uh, at Sandringham School. I've been a head of department here at the school for five years, um, which involves leadership and, and middle management. Um, I think obviously taking the next step into senior leadership is a, a really important decision. Um, you need to be really confident in the role that you're, you're doing at that time, but also uh, want to make a difference on a whole school level uh, and take your kind of responsibility in the school to a, to another dimension. Um, so having had that experience, I think this is a really good way into um, thinking about leadership a bit more holistically um, and providing that support alongside your everyday role as a teacher and as a, as a middle leader to prepare you for that next step um, and a great opportunity um, I've been able to, to, to access and the school supported me with. I think the varied nature of the way that you interact with is the course. Um, there's a you know an element of self-study, which is nice if you're quite independent and you like to kind of move through things at your own pace. I think the sort of requirements in terms of assessment are quite varied, so you can kind of showcase your progress in a, in a wide range of different ways. There are you know good supports online in terms of um, performance coaches, people you can touch bases if you've got any questions, um, and they're very you know, accessible and ready to help. But I think today's face-to-face -face session and meeting like-minded individuals, those that are thinking about the next steps in their career and kind of bouncing ideas off of them and, and finding out more about, you know, the other context that people are working in uh, fundamentally is helpful in thinking about your own future and, and the next steps. I think one of the main things I hope to take away from the course overall is understanding some of the theory behind some of the everyday behaviors and practices that I've already, you know, have to have to use and implement as part of my role as a middle leader. I think sometimes we're just, you know, acting off of instinct. It's a very busy profession. Um, we do some things really well and other times we're doing things that are not so good and have to reflect upon those. But I think by doing a course like this, it helps you to actually frame some of the things you already do, understand the, you know, the psychology behind them. The, the institutional behavior behind what you're doing and how you're actually interacting with other colleagues and trying to lead them towards a shared goal. So I think that's actually one of the big things to take away from the course at this moment in time. It's about understanding the theory behind, you know, leadership practices, about implementation of, of, of visions and strategic ideas, and really thinking about the process of doing so more clearly um, rather than doing things a little bit more instinctively and without that kind of knowledge uh, that you sometimes do when you're you know, in the maelstrom of everyday teaching. It's really nice today to face space event. It's uh, given me an opportunity to meet uh, a lot of colleagues who are in similar positions in different contexts, primary schools, secondary schools, alternative provisions. So it's really nice to find out, you know, the kind of Know, experience that other people have had in the teaching profession. Um, obviously, it's also really interesting to hear about different school contexts and the way that, you know, maybe whole school changes need to be implemented based on differing, differing contextual um, realities. So in that sense, it's just a good opportunity to network, bounce ideas off of people that, uh, you know, have different ideas from you often that can augment and enhance the way you think about some of the bigger conceptual things that we're talking about in terms of leadership and you know ethical principles as we we're having a, a discussion about today. So yeah we've had a sort of online meeting and the two things I would say that were really good about uh, meeting the, the leadership performance coach were one there were a group of people together um, who all had different perspectives of the initial um, induction phase all had different questions about you know what they had to do in certain contexts or how to interact with some of the resources and obviously coming with your own questions but also hearing other people's questions um, provided a nice sort of platform to get to grips with the kind of opening of the course and uh, and kind of seamlessly moving into this first cycle that we're in now I think also having a discussion with a, a real person and, and be able to sort of vent any frustrations you have for the start of the course, but also um, get some clarity on you know what's expected of you, what you your you know what you need to do to kind of you know engage with the course the course most effectively. I think 
um, that was the best thing to take away from it. And the LDR was really, really supportive and, uh, and helped, uh, helped with that. I think I'd give people two bits of advice. The first bit of advice is to just make sure that this is the right time for you to engage in a course like this. It's quite a big undertaking and it's quite time consuming in a good way, but clearly teachers are very time poor and often might make a decision to jump into a course like this prematurely, I think. Um, and really to just ensure that you are very comfortable in the role that you have at this moment in time. Because when you take on uh, a course like an MPQSL, it's quite a lot of work and you really have to be ready to think about the next step in your career and, and what that would entail for you. So that's the first bit of advice I would give. The second bit of advice I would give is to, um, if you have made the decision it's right for you, to really just engage and jump in at the deep end and be willing to really, really spend time um, interacting with the course, interacting with some of the people who are sharing the journey on the course with you. Um, so you fundamentally get the most out of it. Uh, and it should be a really rewarding experience. I think one of the things that will, ways this will benefit the school is if they feel that there might be uh, members of staff who are undertaking qualifications like this during that time, it might be good to get them on board with some of the whole school initiatives that they're attempting to implement, um, to have someone who's got experience of talking through the real process of how to go about that because it's always good to have another person in the room who's you know, thinking about the next step in their career, thinking about a school leadership, because they might have some good ideas that they can use, not only for their own development, but also to help the school's um, strategic vision and, and some of the objectives that they have. Um, that would be one you know, really good outcome from this. I think the second, obviously, for some um, people who are taking the course is that hopefully they are you know, skilled enough to take up some of those assistant head roles or leadership roles so that they can you know, give back to the school what they've ultimately uh, believed that they had in them, and that is, um, you know, the ability to to make a difference on a whole school level by giving them the scholarship to to take up this this course. <laughs>